kwa sababu ya muda kwanza ningependa kusema ya kwamba leo tuko na baba hapa tumekuja kuzindua kinachoitwa azimio la umoja declaration of unity in the republic of kenya azimio la umoja tulikuwa tunafaa tukue na sherehe kubwa sana hapa leo kwa sababu tuko na watu ambaye wametoka sehemu tofauti tofauti lakini kwa sababu ya maagizo ya serikali kulingana na mambo ya covid tumesema tufupishe sherehe yetu kwa sababu serikali ilitoa jana ilani kupitia rais wa jamhuri mheshimiwa uru kenyata na tukaelewana ya kwamba tufupishe sherehe yetu hapa leo ili tufanye kwa haraka na jambo la muhimu ambaye tutasikiza hapa leo ni hutuba ya baba Raila Amolo Odinga hiyo ndio jambo ambaye tunataka kusikia kwa sababu hiyo ndio itatupatia mwelekeo pale ambaye tunaelekea ambaye mnavyojua ni kanana jambo la pili ni ya kwamba tuvae barakoa na tukae social distance kidogo usiweke mdomo karibu na mdomo ya mwingine tafadhali kwa sababu hiyo ndio inaleta corona waacha tu utaweka mdomo pale pengine ambaye unajua Sa, sasa tunataka hii sherehe yetu ichukue chini ya saa moja less than one hour and three quarter of it will be the, sp the speech of his excellency the prime minister mheshimiwa raila molo dinga so nitataka kutambua sisi ni watu ya kufata maagizo sisi ni watu ambaye tunafuata amri ya serikali hatujakuja hapa kukaidi amri yote ya serikali kwa hiyo maana ya kwamba leo tuko hapa Nyanza kama kuzindua azimio la, la, la umoja ya Nyanza kesho ilikuwa inafaa tukue huko Kakamega gavana ya Kakamega wako na sisi hapa lakini kufuatilia maagizo ya serikali tumesema tusitishe mkutano zetu zote kuanzia siku ya leo sasa kesho watuendi Kakamega tulikuwa inafaa siku ya Tuesday tukue Mombasa na siku ya Thursday pia ilikuwa inafaa tukue Garissa lakini tumesema sasa tufate maagizo ya serikali na tuwache mkutano yote kuelekea mbele kuanzia leo hii tumeifanya leo kwa sababu maagizo ilitoka jana kwa muda ya wakati ya jioni jioni sana saa moja hata ngombe ya kukula ilishachinjwa mbusi ilishachinjwa kuku ilishachinjwa watu wameshatoka makwao tukasema tumalize kwa muda mfupi tuelekee manyumbani kuanzia kesho hatuna mkutano yote hiyo tumelawana si namna hiyo sasa hapa tuko na delegation kutoka county sita yote ya mkoa mkoa ambayo ilikuwa inaitwa Nyanza. Nataka kutambua delegation kutoka Migori kumnyumbani huko wako, wako wapi bunde mkono juu? Nataka kutambua delegation kutoka hapa Homa Bay the host wako wapi? Na, nataka kutambua delegation kutoka Kisi County wako wapi? Asante sana. Nataka kutambua delegation kutoka Nyamira County wako wapi? Nataka kutambua delegation kutoka Kisumu County wako wapi? Nataka kutambua delegation kutoka Siaya County wako wapi? Bas. Mheshimiwa Waziri Mkuu delegation ambayo wameitwa wana usi, wa, wame, ni watu ambayo wametoka tabaka mbalimbali mbali. kuna viongozi wa dini kuna viongozi wa mama kuna viongozi wa vijana kuna viongozi wa civil society kuna viongozi wa mama mboga kuna viongozi wa boda boda watu aina tabaka mbalimbali mbali, wote wako hapa leo ili wazundiwe na wewe azimio la umoja katika taifa letu la Kenya sasa nataka kusema ya kwamba wale watu ambao wamekuja hapa ni market committee leaders council of elders opinion leaders mama mboga religious leaders persons with disability youth leaders women leaders beach leaders former councillors former mcs all aspirants wote boda boda leaders wote wako hapa Jambo la pili sasa nataka kutambua viongozi ambao wamefika hapa 
viongozi wa kitaifa na wa mashinani wote nataka MCS ambayo wametoka Migori waendelee mkono juu wasibame juu MCS ambayo wametoka Homa Bay County pia wasibame juu MCS ambayo wametoka Kisii County waheshimiwa MCS ambayo wametoka Nyamira County waheshimiwa MCS ambayo wametoka Kisumu County waheshimiwa MCS ambayo wametoka Siaya County tabaka la pili nataka kutambua ni speakers of the county assemblies ambayo wako hapa pia tafadhali wapungue mkono asanteni sana karibuni hapa leo hatuna mazungumzo ndefu kwa sababu tumesema tunataka kusikia hotuba ya, ya, ya kiongozi wetu Raila Amolo Odinga nataka kutambua wabunge wenzangu ambaye wako hapa nikianza na honorable Martin Owino Wood Chief mbunge wa Ndhiwa tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Adipo Kuome kutoka Karachuonyo tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Alex Atendi, Atandi Meli kutoka Lego Songa tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Profesa Ugutu kutoka Bamachoge bam Borabu tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Dr. Lilian Gogo kutoka Rangwe tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Dr. Christine Ombaka Women Rep Siaya Tuko hapa na Dr. Eve Obara mbunge wa Kabondo Kasipul. Tuko hapa na mheshimiwa mheshimiwa Rosa Buyu kutoka Kisumu County. Tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Jacqueline Odwal kutoka Kisiaya nominated MP. Tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Opio James Wandai kutoka Uhunja. Tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Gladys Wanga Nyasuna. Tuko, tu, tuko, aya, tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Mark Nyamita kutoka Uriri. Tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Walter Owino kutoka Awendo. Tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Junet Mohamed kutoka Suna East. Tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Peter Francis Masara kutoka Suna West. Tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Pamela Odhiambo Women Rep Migori County. Tu, tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Tom Odere kutoka Nyatike. Tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Danita Gati nominated kutoka Migori. Tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Aduma Uor kutoka Nyakaji. Tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Babu Owino kutoka Mbakasi East. Tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Simba Arati kutoka Dagoreti North. Tuko hapa na Dr. James Nikal, mheshimiwa Seme. Tuko hapa na mheshimiwa James Onyango Koyo kutoka Moroni. Tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Pavel Oimeke kutoka Bonchari. Wako wapi? Ah very good mheshimiwa, karibu sana. Tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Paula Buor kutoka Rongo. Tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Peter Opondo Kaluma wakili. Tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Elisha Odhiambo kutoka Game. Tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Shakil Shabir kutoka Kisumu East. Tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Mili Odhiambo Akoth. Tuko hapa na na mheshimiwa Janet Ogera Women Rep kutoka Kisi. Na pia tuko hapa na kiongozi wetu wa bunge Minority Leader Chairman ODM mheshimiwa John Mbadi. Sasa tuko pia na maseneta ambao wako hapa. Eh? Hmm. Eh, hey, angono were. Mas, nata, nataka kuita yeye hey, akuja salimie nyinyi. Nitaita yeye. Hey. Haya tuko hapa na Senator Moses Kajwang, Senator wa Homa Bay County. Tuko hapa na Senator Rose Nyamunga kutoka Kisumu. 
Tuko hapa na senator wangu wa Migori Ochilo Ayako Mbogo Nyakwarja Moko. Oh. Tuko hapa na senator wa Kisumu Fred Uta. Mama ametoa apology. Tuko hapa na senior council, senior senator wa Nyamira. Mheshimiwa senator Okongo Omogeni. Haya tuko hapa na former members of parliament tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Yugi Magwanga Tuko Tuko hapa na Dr Chris Nyamaratandi Bichage Tuko hapa na honorable treasurer wetu honorable Timothy Bosire Hapo hapa Is here Tuko na senator Fred Uta iko wapi usimama basi watu wakuone Eh tumeshatangaza Tuko hapa na tuko hapa na mheshimiwa John Pesa kutoka Migori. Asante sana. Haya. Eh? No, tuko hapa na kiongozi wetu elder baba ya bunge yote ya National Assembly na Senate ukiunganisha pamoja. Anaitwa Senator Ongeri. Yuko hapa yeye yeah, atakuja kusema. Niko na apology pia ya Honorable Imran Okoth kutoka Kibra. Sasa kwa kipindi hii nataka nipatie area MP dakika moja peke Asante sana mheshimiwa. Asante sana mheshimiwa. Sasa nataka kuchukua nafasi hii ku recognize the presence of honorable Dr. Oburo Oginga, MP East African Legislative Assembly. Tuko hapa pia na mheshimiwa Fred Ouda kutoka Kisumu Central. Tuko hapa na katibu mkuu wa chama chetu cha kitaifa cha ODM mheshimiwa Edwin Sifuna. Sasa tunataka kwenda kwa kipindi ya juu kwa sababu nimesema hatutaki kukaa hapa kwa muda nyingi. Sasa mimi nataka kusema ya kwamba hii safari tulikuwa huko na kuru juzi. Sasa tumekuja hapa Nyanza. Tukimalizana na Nyanza tunaenda Western na Coast. Hii shetani ya COVID ndio tutangoje ipiende chini tutaanza safari hatutawacha mpaka tuunganishe wa Kenya na tuende Kanan pale tulikuwa tunaenda. Kwa hayo machache nataka sasa nialike governor wa Homa Bay County Mheshimiwa Cyprian Cyprian Awiti aje akaribishe wageni wake Haya Aya Bermana kanyo bos mwande 
Your Excellency, the Prime Minister of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. Engineer Raila Molodinga. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Homa Bay, Homa Bay is your heartbeat. Homa Bay, Homa Bay is the author of your siasa. And we are, we are, Your Excellency, we feel highly humbled and privileged to have given this opportunity to host this serious regional meeting. We feel honored, we are elated, we are motivated, we are encouraged. Secondly, Homa Bay, the last supper, we are in Homa Bay. This is another important occasion where you have invited all the regional leaders to come and unite here, discuss issues that pertain Goja. Lingane Urumatin. I am saying this is a very important occasion. And we want to thank your, your, your brother, the president of this country, to have allowed you to come for at least one hour because you are prepared for this occasion. We are aware the announcement came too late in the evening when everything was in place. But we want to thank you so much. This handshake that you brought has created this opportunity for us to be here today. And we want to thank you so much for welcoming the president of this country. Lastly, lastly, we are talking about Raila Mulodinga. We are talking about a product that is sellable and marketable very easily. We are talking. We are talking. The person we want to give out today is no, 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 no less than a devolution, a devolution king. No less than a devolution king, an architect. The devolution that is in this country today can be traced to you as a person. And therefore, for anybody to talk about bottle up, he does not know the evolution you brought long time ago to talk about bottle up. And therefore, we are giving you out today to this world. Huh? This is a regional meeting which includes our friends from Gusi. I must speak English only and only. Aya, Aya, Jodalawa, Jodalawa, Wan Kakajo Mabei. county <laughs> Nigi Mitimonwani, we will forever remember you. Nikech, 
ni kelo su la sapa o mabe ka uno bir kelo ngwech ngwech mi chako go ngwech eh ngene chako ngwech nyako nyako go ponje mapel o chako go ngwech ko dioko o kelo wa be ka ka sepulka kendo wa ni kono koro kare kabisa ni ke jungi history mar kenya to gi mar luo ni rachuonyo e choko ma duo ma luo o me wa go ni o ka uno da duo gi meti mo no ni we are indebted wa mor wa geni wan kodi to ngo ni kuma the here to say geo kendo kona mbo luo bendi ngeyo o me wa go ko me duo kabisa wa go ko mo ni jimo biro te all governors who are here we want thank you so much you have done so well to bring your delegates we are indebted to you people at this moment in time i want to call the governor of kisi who has been together with me organizing this function james ongwai james ongwai we have worked very closely to ensure this function is successful i want to thank everybody who contributed towards making sure this function is successful the prime minister told me an occasion like this wajalu anasema unawacha mouth yako hapa unawacha mouth yako hapa that is to say you must not go before eating there's a lot of food thank you may god bless you on why Uh, your excellency the prime minister excellency governors present excellency deputy governors present honorable senators in this room honorable members of parliament honorable members of the county assemblies from this region of nyanza the business people and our brothers and sisters all of you who are in this room god is good and all the time aba kusiba ni ntumuri gambi ya muri aba kuriambi ya muri joturu wa intie uriyo mabel Wasegi kae ni joksi wasegi kae ni Wantie gija duong Wantie gija telo mar Kenya We have come here first we must thank his excellency the president of the Republic of Kenya for allowing us to only be here for only 10 minutes for only 1 hour and that's why probably the number of speakers is going to be few because we live in very uncertain times because it was yesterday all the arrangements had been made and therefore it would have been very difficult to postpone this meeting As the people from nyanza region we have ourselves as kisses and let me talk about the kisses here because i'm probably the only one who's going to talk about them we have a population from kisi and nyamira voting population of over 1 million for those who are there in kisi and nyamira and those who are in the local diaspora in this country we are a people that have grown in numbers but the kisis and the luos have lived together and i will tell you your excellency that the headquarters for the south nyanza region during the colonial administration was in kisi and at one time was headed by one paul mboya paul mboya was not a kisi he was a luo i want to say that we have lived together peacefully as a region even if we are about three we are creating ethnic communities and that indeed when your own father formed his own party the kenya people's union 
the first representation that he had. We had our brothers uh, Anyeni Mogunde and others that joined him at that time. And you remember during the multi-party democracy, you remember we had our George Anyona, we had Abuya Abuya, we had Henry Obocha that were fighting along you and even with your own dad. And I want to remind you that during the 1992 elections, your own dad led in Kisi in the elections. And during the elections of 2007, 2013, 2017, you actually led in Kisi. In this room, we have elected MCS from Kisi County, they are, over, over, they, they are almost close to 60. The same from Nyamira. The leadership is basically, we are now working together under the handshake, but the leadership at the moment in those assemblies comes from a party that you had. But we are all working together very peacefully. You do recall that uh, in Kisi County, we have won all the by-elections that have taken place. We started with Nyacheki, then we came to Bas Chache, we went to Kiamukama, and then we went to Bonchari. And indeed, in the, in the National Assembly in Parliament, the National Assembly part of Parliament, we have the youngest MP there in Pavel Oimeke. Your Excellency, your handshake with the President is a great deal for this country, especially in the broader context of fostering the unity of this country. We want to ask that as we go forward and as we are brought here as a, as a people from the region, we want as you go around the entire country, we want you to tell them that where you come from, there is complete peaceful coexistence of all the parties. In Kisi, those who, con who control the economy of Kisi, first the, ki the, the Kisis, we have the, the people from the mountain, the Alikuyo community, we have the Luos, we have Somalis, we have all manner of people in our, in our two counties. And we have welcomed them with open arms. That's the Kenya that we want, and that's the Kenya that you have been fighting for with our brother, the President, Excellency Uru Kenyatta. It was indicated here by Junet Mohammed about the people who have come here. We have, we did not, in calling the people to come here, we did not look at their station in life. We looked at them as leaders. Whether you have got, whether you are doing border border, even in border border leadership, they have a leadership. Even in Mambamboga, they have a leadership. And they vote, they have a vote. And their representation is in this room. So we ask that going forward, as we talk with you, and as we engage with all the other Kenyans, that we do know that there is no leader who is bigger than the other one. I would want to tell you that from Kisi County and Nyamira County, from Nyamira, our Deputy Governor, and a doctor who was in charge of Nyanza Provincial General Hospital, Dr. Kenani is in this room. Dr. Gesami is in this room. And we congratulate you, my brother, for being the Deputy Governor for Nyamira. We have many, many other professionals here. I wish I had time to mention them. I think we have the Nyamweas here, some Nyamweas here. We have the Asanyos. We have all these people, they are all in this room. They all came here because they are leaders from this region. Your Excellency, the MCAs, especially the ones from PC, had a resolution that they were actually going to read in this room. But because there is no talking here, uh, because there is no talking, 
and since I'm, uh, I'm, I'm now aware that you probably are going to be live in the next few minutes, I run very quickly. They gave me a re resolutions here. I am not going to read them, but I think I went to school enough to paraphrase them. So I'll do that very, very quickly. And they said this. They support the Building Bridges Initiative. They are aware that when you are in the Ministry of Roads, you actually determine the number of roads in this region, including the African Development Bank, Kisi Sebania Road, with all its exits and bypasses, some of them which have helped uh, Omade County and Kisi and Nyamira counties. They are aware about the port and what you are doing. That port is going to support the region. They are also aware about uh, the, apart from the port, they are also aware about the, the, the international airport. They are aware that it was put in place during your period and we all use that in the inter international airport. They are also telling you that these two counties control 60% of the money market in the Nyanza region. And those are statistics from the Central Bank in Kisumu. And they are, for, they are, they are therefore saying that they support this initiative, but going forward, they are asking that as a community they have come off age and that they should be recognized in this country as the seventh largest community in this country. They have said that you are the ultimate guardian, angel for devolution and just governance. And these virtues make your candidate stand shoulders and above the rest in this country for the big seat. They have therefore said the following, and please allow me to say this, that when people are sitting on the table looking at the future of this country, do not forget the kisses. And they have said they have their own son, the Cabinet Secretary for Interior, Fred Matiangi. They are saying you work closely with him. And they are saying that side by side, they have a governor from Nyamira, Amos Nyaribo, and they have also another governor from Kisi, called James Elvis Omariba Ngwai, that you also work closely with them. Your Excellency, as you move forward, we support you. We ask you to develop progressive alliances and that you should make sure that you are work, working close, closely and side by side with His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya. But develop very progressive alliances with the other leaders in this country because I think time has reached for this particular region to be leaders in this country. Your Excellency, I would want to conclude by saying that we have come here as a region, we have come here out of our own free will, we have people that have traveled and drove from Nairobi last night, and they are here, and they are very many, and they came out of their own free will. We ask that moving forward, know that this region is supporting you. Good leaders from Nyanza, I salute all of you. Before I have the pleasure, indeed I'm going to donate that pleasure to somebody, a visitor that I'm calling. He's the only one I'm calling to say just one or two words. Because we would want that when there is a meeting in his place, he also calls a leader from Nyanza region. It is my pleasure to invite the chairman emeritus for the Council of Governors, who is also the chairman of the Lake Region Economic Block, who is also the governor of Kakamega, Dr. Dr. Wycliffe, Ambassador Oparanya Wycliffe, I want you to take just one minute.
and also invite uh, His Excellency the Prime Minister to talk to us. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Hamujambo, to salamiane kwa hewa, 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 bus. Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Raila Amolo Dinga, who is my party leader, my colleagues, governors, my colleagues, governors who have come here, na viongozi wote, wajumbe, ma senators, ma MCAs, na wananchi. Mimi nimeandamana na baba kuja haba kushuhudia kwa usunduzi wa asmio la umoja Tumekuwa kule na kuru tumekuja hapa na kesho tulikuwa tuwe kule kwangu lakini baada mbaya kwa sababu ya covid haiwezi kuwa lakini hiyo mkutano tutaendelea kupanga na wakati itafika nyinyi mtakuwa pale hii jambo la umoja kwa nchi yetu ni kitu ya muhimu kabisa kwa sababu kama hatuna umoja hatuwezi kuendelea mbele kama nchi Munaona jirani zetu vile wakati huu tumeamua kama viongozi tuwe pamoja tuone ya kwamba inji hii inaendelea mbele kiuchumi kwa sababu uchumi ndio imekuwa shida kwa watu wetu ndio kwa sababu watu wetu wengi hawapati kazi hivi ni siku siku mbili au tatu iliyopita niliona katika runinga msichana wenu wa hapa ako kule Saudi Arabia anapata shida huko alitoka hapo kwenda kutafuta kazi pale kama uchumi ulikuwa unakuwa vizuri alikuwa angepata kasi hapa ndio kwa sababu hii safari ambayo Raila Amolo Odinga ameanza kuleta wa Kenya pamoja ni safari ambayo inataka kila mkenya aunge mkono hii safari tuone ya kwamba tunaenda pamoja kama wanaenji wa Kenya na hapa Nyanza Muko Bahati Muna makabila muko na wajaluo hapa Muko na wakisi Na muko na wakuria Hakuna siku ya mwenyezi mungu alikuuliza usaliwe wapi Lakini mwenyezi mungu mwenyewe Nialiamua weo usaliwe kama mkisi, mchaluo na mkuria Kwa hivyo kama umekuja dunia hii kulingana na mpango wa Mwenyezi Mungu mpaka uheshimu hiyo na uwe mtu ambao unaweza kuishi na watu pamoja na sisi bio nishudie huu mkutano wa maana kwa sababu nilikuwa niwe na wangu kule na nione watu wa Nyanza wako nyuma ya Raila Amolo Odinga Nataka nione wale wako nyuma ya Raila ya Molo Odinga. Na mimi nimeshikilia kule Western. Sumuna nijua? Nimeshikilia kule Western kabisi. Watu wanatazemeka lakini na wambia njini kudooni tutu endelee pa moja. Kwa hivyo, mambo ya COVID imeua watu wetu wengi na nimeona watu wako hapa wengi nataka nijukue nafasi hii sasa ni mkaribishe
Nataka nichukue nafasi hii sasa nikaribishe Raila Molo Odinga baba aujubie wananchi. Umenijulisha Yesu wangu Salama Rooni mwami salama Rooni mwami salama Nataka kuanza kuleta salamu Nimetoka Mombasa Na jana na leo tulikuwa na rais Uhuru Kenyatta Na viongozi wengine Na leo salamu kutoka kwa mwishumia Uhuru Kenyatta Mnapokea Na wale wenzetu ambao tulikuwa nao kwa NASA Sasa wanaitua Oka Mbilibila maleta salamu hapa mwishupokea Nimeleta salamu ya kijana kutoka hapa ambaye ni waziri katika serikali mheshimiwa Fred Matiangi. Ndio. Jana tulikuwa na mkutano kule juu ya mambo juu ya shida ya corona ambaye ni kubwa zaidi kubwa kabisa ukiona hivi hali ambayo wataalamu walikuwa wametuonyesha ndiyo sababu ikaamuliwa ya kwamba hali ya hatari itangazwe niendelezwe kwa siku 60 ikawa hii mkutano ilikuwa tayari imeshapangwa na tukapata habari ya kwamba wengine walikuwa shafika hapa hema ilikuwa tayari imeshawekwa hapa na hata wanyama wengine zilikuwa tayari nimesasalimu amri sasa ikawa ni vigumu sana ya kuahirisha Nyanza Kesho tungekuwa Kakamega Wiki ijayo tungekuwa Mombasa Pwani yani na Garissa Kaskazini Mashariki Alawo badaya tungekuja bondi laufu 
lakini kwa sababu ya ile hali ya hatari ya corona tumeahirisha sasa hii ndio itakuwa mwisho kakamega haitakuwa kesho lakini tutarudi baadaye Niko na maneno machache nataka kusema kwa kimombo. Juzi nilipokuwa nakuru nilitoa azimio. Azimio la umoja. The declaration of unity of the people of Kenya. And I want to begin today by stating that we come here with a message of unity, reconciliation, tolerance and hope we said in akuru on tuesday and we will say it again here we must cleanse our country of the spirit of anger and bitterness the spirit of revenge and entitlement we must continue on a path of that reconciles, unites, comes, and stabilizes, and not work at the national level when it does not exist in the regions that make up our nation. And so we are here to make a start at home with the assurance that we intend to carry this to the national stage. Our desire to unite our people and the country, the Azimio La Mungano, is a noble and worthy cause. It deserves our support. Nyanza does, that, that has done very well on the matter of unity, and I want to recognize and thank our people and our leaders for the family spirit that prevails here. The region is cosmopolitan. Different communities have lived peacefully in this region since time immemorial. Even in the most tense of moments in our country, the people of this region have soldiered on fairly peacefully as intended. This time, therefore, efforts and to help do more. This region, like other parts of the country, is feeling the pain of COVID-19. People lost loved ones, incomes, and jobs. This is our wish that we use these losses and the pain as eye-openers on what we must do here and in other parts of Kenya to build resilient and sustainable livelihoods. Nyanza, as a region, is endowed with diverse resources. We have cash crops like tea, coffee, tobacco, and sugarcane. Minerals like gold, copper, and substones, livestock, fish, and an array of food crops. With adequate support, our people should be farming on a commercial scale. So far, we have only scratched the surface with regard to production of food crops and cash crops. We need to focus on how to provide farmers with high yielding seeds, help them with reclamation of the land, preservation of water sources, and all else they need uh, uh, to feed the emerging towns and the entire nation. Very little effort has gone into value addition and industrialization. 
There is no reason why coffee, tea, bananas, and vegetables from Kisi or Korea cannot be processed here and marketed as refined produce of Kisi or Korea. With a better and unified approach to development, we could drastically the dream of investment in skills and rural transformation for local, local industrialization could easily begin here. We can do more to sufficiently organize the informal food markets where food is bought and sold. Mothers don't need to make do with the congested spaces as they do today. We need to innovative ways to address tribulations of rural women and the girl child, including access to credit, health care, and education, which are among the many challenges they face. Empowering women is key to the well-being of individuals, families, and overall economic productivity. We can do more to help the farmers transport food from where surplus is to where it is in short supply. Sugarcane farming, which has long been the lifeline of this region, has to be addressed comprehensively and changed radically. As it is today, sugarcane farming impoverishes instead of empowering the farmers. This region remains deficient in infrastructure, especially with regard to access roads to farms and markets and access to reliable and affordable electricity. Our capacity for blue economy remains grossly underutilized. Lake Victoria has much more to offer than just region, we need to explore innovative ways to support the creation and the growth of small and medium enterprises, particularly youth-owned businesses. Upcoming, upcoming small-scale traders in those markets like Darajambili and others need protection from competition from foreigners and neighboring counties and countries and punitive taxation. We need to enhance investment in ICT and digital infrastructure, support communication and businesses, especially those owned by the youth. We have not done enough to identify and support development of skills and talents, especially among the youth. Take sports, for instance. For, for instance, region has abundance of born soccer wizards and athletes. Young boys and girls who, with just a little support, will easily make it to the big leagues. But they are mostly on their own. The community football clubs here are struggling and sport facilities are wanting. We need a rethink. It is possible for us to set up a regional body dedicated to identifying skilled youths, organizing regional competition, Our most pre 
precious resource here as a country is our people. The healthier the people, the stronger we are, and better our ability to grow from our own efforts. We need to pull efforts and resources to ensure that the region has a robust primary public health care system, starting from the family level to the public health care delivery system as a whole. As a region that borders other countries, we are particularly vulnerable to policies of our neighbors. We have seen that during the, this pandemic, and with regard to security, our people receive foreigners whose status are unknown. We therefore need to invest in health and security infrastructure that can withstand attacks. We need to always put our heads together to ensure a substantial increase in the number of medical institutions, medical staff, clinics and hospital beds, and access to a diverse choice of quality and healthy foods. Parents in this region, just like parents in the rest of the country, treasure the education of their children. We join them in this. But recent policy changes, like the 100% transition, which we fully support, require that we do more for education. Schools are bursting at the seams. The recommended teacher-student ratio is failing, and that will have consequences for our children. You have to institute partnerships between national and county governments to address the issues of infrastructure in schools without a wasteful and unnecessary duplication. So ladies and gentlemen, we are here to appeal that we join hands as a region, get our political act together, pull in one direction, and use the unity to create opportunities for our people and the nation in return. If we are able to pull together as a region, identify our priorities together, back it up with political goodwill and unity, nothing will stop us from addressing the development needs of our people. Already, our governors have started us off in this direction by coming together as Lake Region Economic Bloc. That declaration needs to be cascaded to our villages and homes. It must be strengthened through concrete actions that uplift the lives of our people. With unity, we can achieve it. Let us join hands and work together as a region and as a country. I thank you. And we say, in Awezekana. Umoja. 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 Asante Nisan. Thank you very much.
My fellow governors, I really want, sometimes when you stand here, you get a mental block. We have our great governor from Kisumu, Professor Nyang Nyong, 